Uh, well, uh, this isn't how I thought this video would turn out. Sadness, because right before they done oofed on me, these were the best wireless headphones I'd want. Oh, who's got the better noise cancelling, the XM4s or the Maxes? Well, it's the Maxes, I can prove it, because I have these freakish ears on a stand. Huh, now I needed something ear-damagingly loud around here. Oh wait, I used to work full-time as a drummer. The Sony's noise cancelling is awesome. It's really, really good. These are next level. I mean, the Sony's clipped and the Max's didn't. End of story. I mean, yes, this is an extreme scenario dealing with stuff that is literally as loud as construction equipment, like full-blown snare drum is nothing to mess around with, but it just demonstrates how good these are. Hey, a lot of us like to use our headphones for calls. Take a listen to the mics. So I could make a tomato soup, yeah, but it's like, oh no, I didn't get any tomatoes, mate, but it's cool, they're a fruit, so I like, just use apples instead. But I didn't have any of them either, mate, so I'm like, I'm off to the shops, go get apples with tomato soup. So I get to the shops, I'm like, boy, mate, where you keep the apples with tomato soup? Oh, mate, must have been there before, he's all, pears, mate, pears is what you want. So I made pear soup, more like puke soup, <laughs> should have just gotten tomatoes while I was there. So they're throwing all my spare change at nice cars in the car park. The Sony sound pretty awful, although the Maxes kept kind of kicking in and out, but it might have to do with the other issue it has. But the Sony mic still stinks. But you might have noticed some cracking noises in the Sony recording too, and that's from the creaking of the cheap plastic housing. The Maxes are built gloriously. I mean, this is stainless steel. That stuff is so expensive, like springs in the headphones as well. So they clamp from multiple points using like the spring from the stainless itself I don't own another pair of headphones built better even my uber expensive ones and the controls are superb Infinite volume adjustment <laughs> and the buttons are really satisfyingly clicky Whereas the Sony's have some sort of dingus touch controls that take longer to learn than to learn the recorder just learn the recorder. Well, yeah, these are built gloriously because they're not 500 bucks here in Australia. Mate, they're 900 bucks. Forget your currency conversions from Freedom Eagles to Dollary Doos, mate. We pay extra down here and the cost is 900 jumpy boys. That's really expensive. Although sadly it's play money in hardcore headphone land. Oh look, it's my favorite listening headphones, the LCD 2s. A, a bargain at, at $1,500. Well mate, that's not bad for genuine audiophile grade wireless headphones. They look awesome and I bet the noise cancelling is amazing at that cost. Well, actually they're open back so all the noise literally goes straight in. And also that means everyone can hear what you're listening to, more likely S Club 7 playlists. And mate, they they ain't wireless. Here's the cable for him. What a chonkster, hey? Well, I'm glad you like it, because there's two of them. It's mate, no, that's, that's not. The cable's only as long as the road that leads to the local bakery, mate. Totally not inconvenient at all. Ah, there we are. Oh, wait. Ah, there we are. Oh, wait. Uh, say, mate, uh, you're not going to plug these straight in your phone, right? Like, you need an external amp for these to actually get the most out of them. Hey, another 500 bucks should get you a nice one. So, like, they let all the noise in and all your music out, need a dedicated area in your house to use them properly, are insanely heavy and genuinely fall off my head every time I look down, grr. And then they need extra equipment to work properly, in this case totaling $2,000. Can I have four of them? These just need your phone. Now, I'm sure a whole bunch of you are pausing going like, huh, what, like 1500 bucks for, for the rat's nest that like you can't take anywhere and literally for just using at home. Why do these exist? And the answer is soundstage. That's how wide and 3D the music sounds. And mate, that's when open backs excel. These are beautiful. Oh look, it's the Herd 600s Hundos by old mate Sano, like the referee for all my headphone vids, the benchmark for audiophile sound. So huddle around the ears, kids and we'll listen to these versus the Sonys. Now the Maxes.
Now how about the Sonys versus the Maxes? song. You're going to be humming that for weeks, mate. These are so much wider than the Sonys. Like, especially live albums when there's, like, applause and people chatting. Look how sunk in the ear cups are. Like, you know, with these, your ears rest on the inside of this, and it kind of annoys me, to be honest. And the further away the drivers can be, or the speakers, they're called drivers and headphones, like, that helps with the big, wide sound. Closebacks aren't known for being wide. And my other set of closebacks that have the wide vibe is my Austrian Audio X55s. Look at the ear cups on these. Again, they're nice and deep, yet the Maxes are deeper. <laughs> Look at this ear cup. It's like a washing basket for gnomes. Magnets. Genius. But then the weird thing is, how are the Maxes thinner than these? These are just regular cabled headphones. These have batteries, chips, Bluetooth circuitry. Look, and yet these are deeper. These sound great. I've never done critical listening while walking along construction. Because remember, it's got that killer noise cancelling too. Like, you know, you can hear the chair squeak in an orchestra pit while walking along a busy road. No other headphones have done that for me. So, like, the Sony suck then, hey? And then, like, no one should buy them. And, like, if you see anyone wearing them, you should slap them off their face and go sub to dank pods. Uh... No, guys, these aren't in the same league as these. With specials at the moment, you can get two pairs of these for the price of these. Not to mention the Sony's are part of a package. Because you also get this slamming hard case with like, you know, you, uh, you, you could put your beans in there. Hang on. Get out, get out. There you go. And inside, you know, you've got all the cables you need, adapters, charger, and then you can just geniusly put them away. This tucks in like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my puck cell. Oh, my puck cell. This is a headphone kit to go. You stuff in your bag. You got all the cables you need. Get, get out. God, you aren't welcome. So, you know, sure. They got lame controls and are a bit plasticky feeling. They have a lot of bass. It's not awful. It's just, I like bass too. Just not when everything's boomy, only when it's meant to be boomy. But as an all-in package, I totally rate these. My brother got these. He loves them. My family members are getting these for Christmas. I've bought like three pairs of these now. For 900 bucks, you're just getting a pair of headphones. Because like, this isn't a case. A bra? Nah, mate. It's a nappy. Look, that's a butt crack. Hang on, imagine these are legs coming out here. Look at that, that's a butt crack. Look at this, that's like a trap door and a pair of overalls. Well, they don't call me mud because no one mud up them toilets like I do. Time to mud it up. Now, three quarters of you have been yelling, shut up and get to the broken bit since this video started. And yep, these are busted. All that good stuff, that for nothing. And what's wrong? The left ear cup spits static and big woofy noises. It's totally random. It usually takes about five minutes to kick in because they seemingly work fine. One time I got a good hour out of them before the awful noises started. Now, I try capturing the sound with the hears, but I feel the sound has to do with the noise cancelling mics because they're on all the time. It's either they're cancelling noise or you're listening through them with ambient. But sitting still on the stand, they wouldn't do it. If I wait until they make the sound while wearing them and I take them off, they turn off and it all resets again. But I captured it, don't you worry. I wore them until the noises began and I stuck one of the Dirty Bud microphones into the ear cup and so you can listen along with me. So try to ignore the background static of my bootleg recording ways, but the noise in question sounds like wind blowing on a microphone. Take a listen. Now, I tried all the troubleshooting steps. I made sure all my junk was up to date, tried them on different devices, made sure these would charge. You know, I was trying to not use the butt crack case because they suck. You know, it's worse than just being useless. Look at this. They hit together every time you take them out. Yeah, that's what you want from your $900 headphones, a case that clacks them together. And since I wasn't using the case, I don't know, there's magnets in here. Maybe it's got 
butt crack powers that keep these in check, but no, the noise came back. Then I did a full reset. Basically, it forgets all pairings on it, and I only paired it to my Theo M15. This thing runs Android 7, right? Didn't even get Google Play Store privileges until recently. But yeah, they work fine. These are just Bluetooth headphones. You don't need Apple stuff to use AirPods. Hey, sounded great. And then the noise came back. Hardcore. I unpaired them from everything, did a full reset like they were brand new, and then just wore them like noise-canceling earmuffs. No music. Paired to nothing, the noise came back. Of course I called Apple, and Apple tech support is always first class, straight to a lovely person, and amazingly turned out to be a fan of the channel. Hey, how you doing? Uh, sorry how things turned out, huh? But we tried everything, and the end solution was that I needed to bring them in and swap them. It means they cooked. A busted pair of $900 headphones. Basically, within two days of using them, boom, they were no good. Now look, quick shout out to the Rundle Apple Store, as like, I rent a work machine through them, and they gave me reservations to get a set as soon as they were in. I didn't have a pre-order, but they got some for me. It was so cool. And then, super kind gesture, they offered to swap me another pair to get this video done. Only problem is, they had them in silver and black. I wanted green. But... In this day of, hey, AAA games, yeah, where it's released in beta and then finished with a 50 gigabyte patch later, but only if you pay in full price, I'm pretty sick of stuff coming out by big companies where it's just not finished. And because you know, there was no special deal with these, I paid the 900 kangaroos. And a swap is super kind, especially the fact that these are completely sold out and they had some. But I grew up in the country, right? Getting into the city and back, that's like a three hour round trip. Like after paying 900 bucks for a premium thing, like, so I told Apple, like, I got to review them as is. This is what I got. These might be the only busted pair of these in the world, but, well, they landed in the hands of a reviewer. If this was a university exam, you can't just take it back and fix it. The professor's going to grade them as is. I ain't a fanboy. I give this iPad no respect. <laughs> All my monitors are Samsung. I got a gaming PC. If it's good, it's good. And uh, these headphones in my hand ain't good. <laughs> Because I literally, the noise can be so loud, I have to take them off. It is so uncomfortable. Like, walking home with these in my hand, looking like a freak, like, why wouldn't you wear them? And so, if you have a working pair of these, you have a slamming set of headphones. Hardcore audiophiles will grade them against, you know, these and go, yeah, well, these have more detail and soundstage. Yeah, well, not walking alongside a bus, they don't. I've never heard music in detail like this in such noisy areas. I love the sound stage, especially for clothes backs, and the fit and finish is just first class. These are 1500 bucks. Look at this rat's nest. <laughs> the case is like the dumbest thing ever. It's so dumb. Look at that. Dust and junk can get straight in. Luckily, out of anything, the third party can get you another one of these. And like, I think people would have been less mad if it just didn't even come with the case. If it was just the headphones. Weird psychological thing like that. Because it just is so unclever. But hey, my pair stinks smelly butts. It's just so disappointing, because I really like them. And then these proceeded to let me down like no other headphones had. Like, literally unbearable to wear at times. Gopping. <laughs> yes, I will swap them out for a working pair. Because, hey, who knows? I might get another dud pair and, mate, we get two videos out of it. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. One dollar a month, I direct a video. Thanks to them, there are no ads and the reason I can afford these. So, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I say iPod Touch? That's right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Loads of turtles accessory kit. There's so many awesome features. Like, elaborate, or like, that's it? You're just gonna claim that? Shell Shock, that's actually a cool noisy track. What are they, a manga now? But yeah, we're gonna bust this open. I mean, it looks like someone has at some point, but then has partially resealed it, and I hope everything's still in here, because I haven't checked. Could be the worst after show ever. But hey, I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time. Are you licking the cactus? Are you licking the cactus? Is that what Frank likes to do? Is lick the cactus? You're a supervillain, Frank. I can't get you a laser beam for Christmas.